Hey guys, it's Nicole, secondhand gal. So today I'm going to show you how you can paint a galvanized tin. It's extremely important that there's certain things that you know um, if you're going to want to paint something like this. Do not use latex paint. It will not stick. It will peel and you'll just have a hot mess. So I highly suggest that you use chalk paint because it adheres really well to just about anything. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wash this and I'm going to use warm soapy water and a green scuffy pad just to kind of give it some grit so that the paint has something to stick to. So let's go ahead and get this washed up. Inside also. Just grab some paper towels and dry it the best you can. It's okay if there's still some water on there. over the sink just in case I added a lot of water to my chalk paint a little more than I should have. And you just paint it on like you would anything else. It's okay if you want to be sloppy with it. You don't need to paint the bottom. Nobody's going to see the bottom. Well, I'm assuming nobody will see the bottom. Depending on what you're going to do with your bucket, you can just leave it like that, or you could go ahead and paint the inside. I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside of my bucket. Just feel like it gives it a much more finished look. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Nice and black. So I'm going to leave this in the sink to let it dry. It'll probably take about a good 10 minutes. Like I said, I had added too much water to it, so I'll probably have to do a second coat. But while that's drying, going to stencil on this one that's already dry. See how it's nice and matte? Not a great finish on the inside, but I'm not too worried about the inside being perfect looking, looking perfect. So I'm gonna get the stencil and I'm going to stencil and number one. I have three buckets, so I'm gonna stencil number one, number two, and number three. This is the stencil that I'm using. It's by Americana Decor. You can find these at Michaels. They have a lot of great different stencils. This is the chalk paint that I like to use the most. I feel like it adheres really, really good. Um, you can find this chalk paint. I think Michaels now sells it and so does Joann's fabric. This color is called Cottage White. Uh, 
stencil brush. So you can see it. This one's nice and thick, so I'll be able to get in there really good. up and down movement when you use stencils because if you try and brush you'll get paint underneath the stencil and you'll have bleed through and you don't want that. first bucket. So it looks like it might be a little crooked, but that's okay. I don't want perfect. I never have liked perfect. So the way to seal this is to take it um, outside and I'm going to spray it with a polyurethane. Um, probably do a, a bit of a satin finish to it. So I'll show you the after when I'm done. So there they all are. Two coats of black, stenciled with the numbers one, two, and three, painted the insides, and I've already taken them outside and given them two good coats of a satin finish, polyurethane, I sprayed them. If you were going to set these outside to be used, I would probably use um, like a polyurethane that can be used outside. So that it will be protected from the weather. These would be really cute like even if you wanted to get enough to do your address and sit them out in the front yard by your house somewhere or um, you know your anniversary date whatever you want to do there's endless possibilities but I highly highly suggest that when you paint galvanized buckets that you use chalk paint make sure you give them a good cleaning with um, a scruffy pad, soap and warm water, rinse them really good, dry it, and uh, there you go. Easy peasy. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, please subscribe and hit the bell next to it so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And um, until next time, bye.